Hello and welcome to your second lesson in the wonderful journey through volume at National 5. We're going to look today at volume of a cylinder. And this is what we learned last time we were, or the last video, the last lesson we, we did. That the volume of a prism is, is the area of that constant cross section multiplied by the height. Now we're going to use that in a little more detail today. We're going to look at a very interesting uh, shape, the cylinder. Now the cylinder's a, it's a prism. It's got a circle that travels the whole way through the shape. The thought is, I don't know it would be a circular prism, but we can find the volume of the shape by using our prism formula. Volume is equal to the area of that cross section multiplied by the height. But for a cylinder, we always know where that area is. We know how to find the area of a circle. The area of a circle is always pi r squared. So if we want to use a quicker example or a quicker method in to calculate the volume of a cylinder, all we need to do is substitute that area into there. So the formula for the volume of a cylinder would be V is equal to pi r squared multiplied by height. Just taking that pi r squared and multi uh, substituting in for the area. So part there, I'll put a box around it, beautifully drawn with a straight line, box around it. That is the formula for getting the, the volume of a cylinder. Now obviously that radius would be the radius of the circle, and the height, just the same as with a prism, is the height of, or the length that that circle travels. So that would be the first page of your note, obviously maybe a little bit neater than mine. But I'm going to show you a couple of examples that you can work with that. Okay. Now there's your first one, example one. We've got a cylinder there, we'll try to calculate the volume. Now you can use it, just actually going back a wee second, you can use the other method we used last video, you calculate the area first and then you calculate the volume. The reason I don't like doing that and the reason I'm showing you this now is that when you're working backwards, when you're given the uh, volume already and you're trying to calculate the radius and the height, I believe that this is much, much easier to do if you know this formula and can use this formula. So that's why we're showing you it now. Uh, now, we've got a cylinder. The volume of the cylinder is given by pi r squared h from the last slide. And we're calculating that now. So the radius of the cylinder is 4.2. The height is 10.5, so we're going to put that in as well. And then we go to our calculator. If you listen carefully, you can probably hear me banging the buttons. And we get an answer. Now, the SQA, they like to make sure that we understand what we're doing and we understand how to round. Okay, SQA, who I'll henceforth call the enemy. When you type that into the calculator, you should be writing down the unrounded answer first. So 581.885 and so on. Now they like to examine you, they like to test you on significant figures with this question as well. So if the question specifies a number of significant figures that you can use, you can use that to, to round here. So if I say, let's round this to three significant figures, 581, let's cut it off after the third significant figure, that 8 there is going to round it up to 582. Oh. Put it back to blue, will I? 582, and it's volume, so it's centimetres cubed. So that's using the cylinder formula, just the same way we use the area formula, but that's how I'd maybe like to see you to write it out, and again, that could be an example for your notes. Okay, let's move on. Okay, example two here, slightly more complicated, but not by much. You can see here, we don't have a cylinder, but what we've got is we've got a half cylinder. If we use our volume formula for cylinder, it's pi r squared h, but we don't want the whole cylinder, all we want is a half of that. So we can use a half pi r squared h. Everything else is exactly the same. The radius going from halfway in the circle across is only going to be 5 in there. And the height coming along is 50. So everything exactly the same. It's going to be pi, eh, sorry, a half times pi times 5 squared for the radius multiplied by 50. Nothing's changed. The only thing we've added in is we've not got a cylinder, we've got a half cylinder. So the only thing we're going to add into our working is we've got a half at the start. So it's a half times pi times 5 squared times 15 
put it in your calculator, you'll get the answer 589.0486 and so on. So that's my answer, that's my unrounded answer, that's what my calculator gives me. If I then round it, let's go to three significant figures again, I quite like three significant figures. You've got one, two, three, so after that is where I want to stop. The zero after it keeps it where it is, it rounds it down, so it's just going to be 589 centimetres cubed. That could be a handy, pause the video. That could be a handy note, example two to put in your note. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Now, again, we're just going to give you the simple idea and let you kind of get the extra practice when you go into class, but that's your basic idea. Feel free to go back and look at it. There's a blank slide, why is that there? And there's a couple of examples to try. Oh, I've given you the answer straight off the bat. Ah, well, make sure you can see how you get them. That's frustrating. Uh, first cylinder, the first example here is just a cylinder. So you can see and have a look at how you're getting that. The second one's a lot more complicated. I put that in just to stretch you and just to see if you can do that coming into class. And hopefully that'll give you some questions you can look at or give you stuff to ask when you come in. And again, when you come into class, we're obviously going to get practice with this idea and extend you on. But if you come in and answer questions, that would be nice. Okay. Cheers. Bye.